Nothing to do but freeze to death. God damn, it's fucking Mike. Those stupid apes don't know when they beat, but even they will have to admit defeat after they've tangled with my fiery little pet. Oh, is that what you think? Ha ha ha. Nothing can stop me now. Their island is doomed. Ah, oh, well, it doesn't seem like your uh, friend there thinks so. Ah, oh, there you are. I trust the Kongs have been dealt with. About that. I was awful, Master! Go it on! I was horrible, Kongs, through nasty barrels at me and went bang! Knocked me into the lava they did, and they sandwiched me my wings! Then one of them got really big and punched me in the face! Look at my poor old nose! I want to go and lie down now, I'm not feeling it all well! God damn it! Not again! Haha, <laughs> he failed. Good on him. Piece of shit. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Donkey Kong 64 with your host, MJ406. And now we're in this really cold place, the Crystal Caves. This is another one of my favorite levels, mainly because of the abilities you get here. You know how you've been seeing some of those stuff like Lanky's Barrel and Chunky's Pad? Well, guess what? We're finally going to get those abilities. After a long time of waiting, their abilities are coming out of the forefront. It's been long overdue, but thankfully, the time is nigh to get these abilities checked out. But I better use Chunky to clear out some of the way so I can explore more later. Yeah, there we go. And I'm in the middle of a new session, of course. I'm trying to go into the habit of doing like only one level a session. I mean, if it comes to the opportunity to do two, then I'll do two, but, you know, I like to keep things a little balanced. But yeah, this level looks nice. It's very open, so you can pretty much go wherever you want at your own pace. I mean, there's certain things to do, but we'll get to those as the time comes. I'll make sure I do it well. Uh-oh, you hear that music? Guess what that means? There's a giant one of those assholes hiding around here. And he calls the whole place to shake. Whenever he swings down his giant club. That's when you have the cue to run. You get to end by jumping into a tag barrel. But, well, be prepared for that to go on for a little bit. Well, I'm gonna go around and get some of the warp pads. I gotta open up this level to as big an extent as I can. I know I do have to get my abilities, but I wanna make this level very accessible for myself. Oh, these are lankies. Whatever. Let me go in here for my musical needs. So here's a very important power up for seven coins. Oh great, I've got an extra melon for you. And I'll upgrade your instrument. It's all, it's only seven coins. I hope you all can afford it. I'm doing it so the other men don't have to see you. That's a bullshit. Ye yeah. Anyway, you guys all have another melon, but they're my last. So that's all you're going to get. Have fun with three melons. <laughs> it's natural to have two. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, yay. I have three melons now. All right. That's some good news for me. Nothing like having three melons on hand. Huh? Huh. What? Whatever. Either way, I got my melons. So I know I'm more than prepared for anything that comes after me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want that! Oh, God. I can't aim properly. How am I not getting hit? Wow. <laughs> How did I not get hit? Oh, God. Oh, I'm not going to worry about it. I got lucky. I'll just accept that awesome fact. That I didn't get caught. All right. I got the warp pad in. 
her blueprint, so I'm gonna go back the other way now. It's time to see what else is hiding around this cold-ass water. This is why I picked Tiny. Uh-oh. Well, at least you can always tell when that guy's ready to attack. So you can hear the music of him slamming everything down. What douche. Just be natural about it, you asshole. Don't force it. Forcing it is a terrible idea. Nobody will like you that way. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Okay. Okay, there's a pad here. Pad number... One? Pad number three? Ooh. Yeah, I don't have the other three pad. Oh, Jesus. Gotta run! Okay, I can't go through here yet, so I'm just gonna fly away. Jesus. Let me climb. Yeah. There we go. I made it. Ooh, there's a hole for me to go into as well. Don't mind if I do. If, if I can. There we go. I figured it out. Time me. Holy shit! Yay! Ah. Oh. I don't like visiting an ice cave to feel happy. Why is there a thing for Chunky in here? Eh. Oh yeah, that's gonna work, but whatever. Oh boy, Crazy Kong Clamor again. No problem. I'll just have to be quick with my aim and make sure it's swift! Oh man, I finally missed. Don't worry, I won't miss again. Oops. Haha, <laughs> I hit her in the face. That's she gets. Shut up, Chunk Chunky. You're not getting me to attack you. You act like you're all tough, but everybody knows you're a big softy. You big lug, you. Ah! There's Warpad 3. So that's how it's gonna work? Nah. I don't know if I like that, but whatever. I'll just accept it for what it is. Oh no, it's getting to the thing again. Oh no. No. Please stop with the pounding of the stalactites. Oh man, that's some garbage. Anyway, let's go to Cranky's lab. Yeah, I'm not here to play your stupid game. Nobody ever wants to play my game. You all suck. Hey, by the way, I got a new ability for you, Tiny. It's been a while, hasn't it? Here you go, bitch. Enjoy it. Monkey port, warp him craftius. Monkey port, not banana port, monkey port. And you broke it. Come on, I was really proud of this one too, Tiny. If you stay on my pad with your face on it and press Z, you'll be teleported to another location. You don't say. Now get the hell out of here, I don't got anything else for you. So now Tiny can use her pads for the power of teleportation. Pretty cool, huh? I can't see! Ah, camera! Sometimes you really are my biggest enemy. I wish that wasn't the case, but that's usually what it is. It's usually you're my biggest enemy, you fraud! You damn dirty fraud! Whatever. Oh, God. Okay, there's nothing I can do with Tiny, so... Let's switch over to Chunky, since he can be useful right now. Go ahead, buddy. Reveal to us what's behind these frozen walls. Don't get trapped under ice. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get your ability first. What are you doing? You bum. Can't forget to go to Cranky's lab. You're right there! How about you? How would you like to play my game? I already did. Oh, yeah, you beat it. Well, fuck you. Well, buy my shit anyway. So what's your ability, Chunky? The Gorilla Gone! Where's some Gonium? I still want to change that! What? You're speaking nonsense. But how about you do us a favor and use this one as often as possible? Huh, Chunky? Ugly bastard? Stay on my pad with your face on and press Z to turn invisible. Then we don't have to look at your ugly features. You fat lard of shit! Man. Cranky really lays it on hard. So the pad for Chunky allows him to turn invisible. 
thing. And believe it or not, that can actually lead to more than just being able to get through things without being seen. We'll see that later. Huh. There's an egg glue here that's encased in ice. Well, in that case, I don't think I can do anything. I'll leave then. I guess I could go to the warp pad to get the balloon. Yeah, I may as well do that. It seems easier that way. So let's go. Damn it. There's nothing else I can do around here, right? Uh, I hate having to hear the freaky music of the damn stalactites trying to fall on my head. I hate it. Oh, God. Okay, it's this way, this way, this way. Oh, Tiny has coins. Not like I care about those ones. Actually, since it's so convenient, why don't I go get that golden banana? So, I kind of spoiled something, but whatever. Anyway, come this way, and I shall show you the way to something miraculous. You see that DK is stuff in here for some reason, but Chunky is a pad. Well, hit it to turn invisible, and a gold banana will appear. Sometimes you'll need Chunky to go invisible in order to reveal some things. And he can only interact with these while he's invisible, so, you know, it's helpful. Now let's warp back, shall we? Oh, oops. Did we actually go that way? It just happened. God damn it! This cold place is starting to make my head go a little crazy. I can't think straight! Ah! <laughs> Please don't kill me! I have a family of some sort! I don't even know who they are anymore! There we go! Beautiful! I may as well get all these coins. Not like I'll be doing anything else with them. Jesus. Alright, well, it's time to go for the next character. Ah, damn it. So, everybody but Lanky has three abilities now. And I can get Lanky, I can get Lankies eventually. It's time to see what Donkey Kong can learn, though. You never know what kind of new tricks you can teach a monkey. You can't teach a dog, old dog new tricks, but an old monkey? Sure! As long as they're not senile old like Cranky back there. Now, if only I could get up here. I succeeded. Get out of the way, you bum! How time for your shenanigans. I just need to hurry up. Oh yeah, you can shelter yourself if you go through some of those uh, ice gates. I don't know why it helps shelter you from ice, but whatever. Yo, that, that freaking pillar thing's really in my way. Oh man, come on. Screw you! I'm capturing you. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I get my bananas worth everywhere. But now is when the real fun begins. There's a DK pad to go on. It's time for the fun of the butt! Time for another freaking barrel challenge. This time, the bananas show you the right way to go. So you hopefully don't want to have to do this multiple times. Follow all the paths they tell you to go on. Wherever that may be. Aha, I made it. Coin! Another coin? Damn. This one's actually really easy because it's very slow paced. It's very hard to make a mistake. Well, until you get to these ones. They start speeding it up to throw you off a little bit. You see, now they're getting ridiculous. Oops. Can't believe I missed. Back to the sky! DK! Damn you! Now I have to remember where to go. Thanks, dickhead. Oh, wait, I think the other barrel is a shortcut. I forgot, I think there are actually some short shortcuts in these uh, barrel ones. Because you can follow the normal path, but they also have an extra... Oh, They may have an extra path for you, too, in case you want to skip a few things. Well, let me experiment and try it out. So, let's see. Oh, my God! 
I'm being a freaking bum. Come on, man. Make it in already. DK, you've been shooting in barrels your entire life, pretty much. Just get it right. You see, we did skip a decent chunk. That makes life easy. Cut out, like, roughly half of this now. I just have to nail these shots now. There we go. I'm starting to get it. There's the last one. And... Kablam! Ooh, I almost missed that one. So, you ready for another busy barrel barrage? This time, DK has to deal with it. However, it's even harder for DK. I finally lost. Why would you hurt your head, you bum? That's the first time I've lost a minigame, I think. Welcome to bonus stage. <laughs> I believe so. So, yeah. DK's is even harder than Diddy's because... His range is kind of long because he has a freaking shotgun. What this will end up meaning is if an enemy gets too close, DK won't be able to shoot them at all. So you have to hold them back from the beginning. If you don't, he's screwed. You have to make sure they don't get any distance. If they do, you're going to be in for a world trouble. Let me show them a glitch that'll happen. Or something that will seem weird. I'll keep pausing as I go. As you can tell, the music keeps going forward a little bit each time. Just so you know, the music track that goes for this has a 60 second loop. If I try to exceed that, well, we'll stop hearing music after a while. You can already hear it starting to fade. See? That's where the music track ends. Now it's just silence as we wait for my victory. Well, Screw you, uh, dick! And now they are all still framed. Still looking at me, it's like, hey, can we get him? I'm already dead! Damn falling. Well, I've succeeded in my mission to get some bananas. Banana tang! What? Never mind. All right, Cranky. Let's see what you've got for me. Finally! My favorite son! I mean, you! You just get rid of a compliment? No! What? You think I have an ability for you? Fuck off! Check that out. DK doesn't have a fourth ability. And a spoiler warning? Neither does Diddy. See, each character only has three abilities. Diddy and DK just happened to get theirs really early because you had them both by the first level. Oh, I missed Chunky's freaking blueprint. I'll go back for it later, though, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. Now I can go in the egg glue. So, yeah. You have to wait all the way till this level in order to get the last ability for all the other characters. You have to get... The pad for Chunky, the pad for Tiny, and the barrel for Lanky here. It's a bit ridiculous, but hey, the ability you get for it is well worth it for each of them. Because they're all very good abilities. And we'll be showing off Lanky soon, but I just have to uh, do, some, do some things with Diddy first. I have to fly around and make sure I got all the bananas, because I feel like there's some stuff hidden around. And again, I think I might have gotten it. Or not. Honestly, it's a little hard to tell at times. Ooh, shit. Free balloon. Don't mind if I do. Bam! Oh. Point blank shot, baby. This pad will be useful for later. You like how the number four pads is on a little platform in the middle of nowhere? So unnecessary. But helpful, I suppose. So yeah, everybody, every single character of the game has three abilities that are unique to them. A special attack, or DK's case, a unique attack. He can pull a switch. What do you do? They each have a barrel, and they each have a pad. It's even organized well where it makes sense. Now if you'll excuse me, it's time to get Lanky's ability. 
Oh, you love to clown around. Why don't you play my game? Ah, oh, you're probably gonna say no. Fuck you. Just take this and get the hell out of here. Oh, this happened to be. The final ability for Lanky is the Orang Stand Sprint. The Palmist Dashium. Running on your hands. I can run faster than you, Lanky. He was K. Roll on my back. I can't believe how I can do that, but just take my word on it. That's why this potion is a must. Jump into my barrel with your face on it, and you'll emerge like greased lightning. Just make sure you've got plenty of crystal coconuts. So Lanky's final ability is to transform into a super fast uh, Lanky. He's super fast. If you don't get it, you will. You'll see later down the line. Now let's go explore the place with Lanky a little bit. I choose to explore with Lanky just because I don't really have anybody else to explore with, really. I kind of do, but I'm not going to worry about it. We'll go to the Egloo with everybody a bit later. It's better to explore parts of the level to unlock everything we need to. It's a lot of crazy stuff to go around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta make sure I don't get hit by all this shit. Oh yeah, Funky's here too. Let's not worry about that for now. I want to go in here. There's a little special event I want to do. So let's go inside. Oh yeah, I have a balloon in here. I should probably get that. Yeah, there we go. And now I have coins. Huh. It's a weird, like, tomato spirit. Hey, Lanky, it's not much fun being stuck in this pokey igloo. So I've made up a game to pass the time. If I don't play soon, I'll die of boredom. How about it, buddy? Aren't you already dead? Eh, sure. I'll play with you. I'm always up for a new game. See those tiles? Turn as many over to show your face as possible. All right, let's get going. So you have to reveal as many of the DK things as you can. And of course, he gets a head start because he's an asshole. Oops. The best strategy for this is just to take over all the K. Rule heads. Just take them all over. Don't even worry about all the empty ones. Just try to make sure he doesn't have a lot. It'll make things a lot easier in the long run. Also, it's interesting that he can't turn any of the, the cruel heads into a DK head. But, you know, you deal with it. See, it's easy. Just don't try to rush your jump and then jump on a DK panel, because then you're going to regret that, too. It'll be a big waste of time that nobody will be happy to see. Shit! See? I keep doing it, because I'm an idiot. And now, you get the time to flip over some extras in case you need to. And you can win easily. Just keep pounding. Oh, no! It took me days to think of that game, and you beat me! You're not my friend anymore! Take your winnings and leave! Wow. Talk about a sore loser. Jesus. Grow a pair, man. Not everybody wins all the time. Especially not me. Oh, especially not me. But I'll let you worry about that. Let's see. Is there anything else around here? Ooh, there's a boulder to use with Cranky. Oh, hey, DK's a... Uh, blueprint. A boulder switch? What the heck? That's new. I guess I should use it, huh? It's probably better if I do. Because I never know what the heck this is going to lead to. Go ahead, Chunky. Man. I don't know how the boulders didn't freeze over. I mean, look at the rest of the place is filled with ice. How's there still just plain rock here? How thick is this shit? Maybe that's not the question I should be asking. Maybe the question I should be asking is... What the actual hell? Oops. I better make sure I get those bananas or I'm going to be upset myself. Oh, yeah, probably don't need the boulder here anymore now I smashed that. Okay, never mind. Not a problem. All right, let's get DK's blueprint quickly. Then we'll go to Funky and end the episode. Jesus. I'm so afraid of the environment attacking me. No. This is what I get for insulting the rocks. They're coming to crash down on me. Ruining my party, are you? In that case, I'll take a little reward. Ow! Oh! Oops. 
Well, that was terrible. Ah, I can get bananas here. How convenient. Well, in that case, I guess it's gonna be time to end the episode soon anyway. Since I don't feel like having a freaking... Mm, whatever. Let me just get this banana, some coins, and then head out. Oh, come on. Yeah, gotcha, bitch! Ah, oh, what fun. The rocks are attacking me, man. I don't know what it is with that guy. But he just keeps sending hell onto me. And I, for one, do not appreciate hell being sent onto me. Not even the littlest bit. I hate it. Alright, Lanky. Let's get you going. Time for you to get active and grab some bananas right there. I mean, you may as well. So they're not going to be here too often. I just want to grab these now. There's plenty of coins to grab here as well. Especially for the uh, last three Kongs you got, so. Feel free to use them as much as you need to. Without a doubt, it'll be helpful for you. Oh, I didn't get these bananas. I'll worry about it later. Let me just go back up to Cranky and end the episode. Oh yeah, I didn't get Chunky's thing either. Again? I'll worry about that later. Ugh. Looks like I don't have this level planned out very well because I'm already making a whole bunch of mistakes. And again, despite this being one of my favorite levels, it's actually pretty hard. So uh, yeah, we'll have to prepare for that too. Actually, the stalactite's going to ignore me. So come back next time. I'm going to get my boy Chunky here to deal with this giant boulder. How will he deal with that? You'll just have to see. I would love to see him punch it and smash it, but, well, seeing the other thing that's running around it, I don't think it's a good move. Still, I don't think du Chunky can punch a boulder like that either. That'd be badass, though. I'm not going to lie. Just have him get a primate punch and just smash a boulder into pieces. Like, damn, dude!